and welcome back to Educator.com. This lesson covers the XML document type SVG. Two primary means of defining images on a computer have developed over time. There are bitmaps, which are mostly used in photographic type of files, where ultimately each pixel is defined in terms of its color and brightness. These give you a lot of fine detail in your image, but they're hard to scale. Once you try to enlarge a small bitmap image, you sometimes get blocky chunks where everything starts to look a little blurry if you try to expand the image too large. Another way to define an image is something called vector graphics, where instead of having each pixel defined, you're describing the shapes in your image according to primitives, which are basically mathematical geometric constructs. This means that you can't make complex images as easily, but they're very easy to scale because the uh, description is simply tailored for the size of the display or the size, size of the image you're trying to generate. So in this lesson, we're going to learn about scalable vector graphics, which are a web consortium definition of vector graphics. We're going to take a look at some basic shapes and take a brief look at some special effects that you can do using SVG. So SVG uses a foundation of XML to provide instructions for displaying a wide variety of shapes and images. So let's take a look at what SVG actually is. SVG stands for scalable, meaning resizable, vector graphics, meaning everything's defined according to geometric primitives. These primitives can be described by basic mathematical formulae and ideas. And the idea is that the XML is saved as an XML file, which can be edited any way you like, directly in text or by some sort of manipulation program that's designed to manipulate the text within the file. And then that information is fed to an SVG rendering engine or viewer. 